Hello, so we're going to look at the um, view sheet generator in Grey Tech Power Pack. So this function is an enhanced version of what you're used to using when you're doing assemblies and assembly drawings. So essentially, it utilizes the same functionality of create assembly, but then it does some enhancement work on the set of drawings. So if we show you on here, for example, so we have a, a 3D model of a, a concrete frame. So what we're going to do is make an assembly from one of the columns. So again, we do create assembly. We're going to give it a name. So we'll call this column one. Press OK. And instead of going to create views inside Revit, what we're going to do is use the Grey Tech Power Pack view sheet generator. And if we select that, we now get a more enhanced way of creating drawings. So for example, we can have third angle projection drawings top, bottom, left, right, top, flipped, bottom, flipped, back, right, two, for example. And within each of these views, we can change the template, the view template, the viewport, the crop region visible, and we want to create this in Revit. Okay, and we've got a reset button for each of these. Okay, we can also do this for the sheet view, the bottom view. So again, the sheet view, what template are we using for the title block? The name of the sheet view. So we're going to automate the process of the name. Then we've got the bottom view, the front view, and all of the views that we've selected from above. Okay, so again, we can start to change these values uh, one by one. So we'll just go through and just tick the ones that we require for this presentation. Okay, so we've got them all listed there, and we press OK. What that's now gone and done, if we look down on the left of our project browser, is it's created a load of detail views. Within the detail views, we've got a bottom view. Okay, so we're just looking at this as a native view, if you like. So we've got some um, some things in the way, so we're just going to hide that element. And you can see that we've got our uh, our column there from a bottom view. I'm just going to just chuck some dimensions on this, just so uh, when we go to our layouts, that we've got some more information on it. So again, let's give it our centerline dimensions, and we'll go to the outside dimension. And let's go to our lip dimensions as well. We'll drop those in there. And let's just put some vertical dimensions on here as well. And let's check an overall dimension on this. Okay, so we've got some dimensions on there. Okay, so what we'll now do is let's go and take a look down at our sheets. So before we do that, just to show you, we can apply a view template if we need to. So let's go down to our sheets, expand our sheets, and you'll see we've got a, a drawing already made. And you can see that the drawing has created all of the individual views that we require. Okay. So again, it's a more enhanced version than what we tend to have inside native Revit. And again, we can start moving some of these headings around. And we can do all of the usual functionality that we had and we've shown you in the other video where we start aligning the views, okay, using the Arrange tool. So if you haven't seen the Arrange tool already, then I, uh, I urge you to look at it online, okay? So, um, okay, well, thanks very much for your time and uh, look forward to speaking to you soon.